Hi everyone. We would learn was viewer. I had uh, already explained you Biblio Shiny. Now I am going to explain you was viewer. Number of research scholar they had asked me, ma'am, why don't you prepare a video on was viewer? Because we would like to go for bibliometric analysis. And was viewer, uh, this is a software through which we can create beautifully uh, networks, right? In between, those are the authors or countries, right? So we can prepare. But first of all, we understand how we have to download was viewer. So simply you have to write on a Google search engine wasviewer.com. Then you have to see this kind of interface. And when we have to scroll down, you can see here download was viewer. So moment we will click on download was viewer, you can see there are three options are here. And uh, download was viewer 1.6.18 for Microsoft Windows system. Download was viewer 1.6.18 for uh, Mac operating system and download was where 1.6.18 for other system. So I am using Windows. So I will just click here, right? A moment I had clicked, you can see here, uh, was viewer 1.6.18 because I had already downloaded earlier. So this file zip folder has been created. So I have already downloaded. So let me show you that particular Wasbier folder, what kind of files you would have in this folder. So now you can see here, when you will open this, uh, this one is the zip folder, you can see here data, history, license, manual, and wasviewer.exe. So basically we have to click here, wasviewer.exe. But before that, I would like to show you how would be kind of manual. And you can go through this manual wherever you want to stuck. So you can go through this manual, what is network visualization, overlay visualization, create map wizard, and all these things. Total number of pages of this manual, a, manual are 50. 54 pages. So 54 pages, you can go through this proper manual, right? Each and everything is defined well, right? What are the panes? What are the panels? From where is the output? You can get it, right? What is density visualization? What is overlay visualization? Each and everything is well explained in this manual. So there is no need, again, you have to download this manual because that is already downloaded in your this uh, .exe uh, zip folder. So let me start one of my file. I would like to, one moment you will open this was viewer, you can see this is the output section where you will get the output. This is the visualization scale levels, each and everything you can minimize or maximize, right? And black background also you can use, colorful background also, colors also you can change. So now, first of all, what I want to create a file, right? So I had already downloaded a Scopus data set. So let me, because I'm not using this create map based on network data, I'm going to use create a map based on bibliographic data. So let me click here on next. After that, read data from bibliographic database. Yes, of course, because there's the supported file types, web of science, scopus, dimensions, lens, and permanent. So I'm going to use the scopus database. So I'm clicking here. Let me click here and after that I am going to click here because there are the options web of science, scopus, dimensions, lens, format. So I'm click, I will click here scopus and where is my file? Let me click here and let me open this folder. Right. So let me open this file. I would just search and my file is uh, here in my research paper working and uh, let me open this uh, my file folder right this is the file folder where is this is my scopus database right so let me click here next and after that you can see here first of all let's say i want to see uh, this one is the co-authorship right co-authorship with the authors right so what i will do i will press next Right. And how many minimum number of documents I required documents of an author for? So let me decrease this. Right. And uh, minimum number of citation of an author 
it's not required i i said zero otherwise you can put if the minimum citation one or minimum citation two should be there right accordingly you can set so moment i had pressed minimum number of documents of an author two right and minimum number of citation of an author two right so when i will so you can see here total number of author 72 and 74 meet the threshold so let me press next and here is the for each of the 74 authors the total strength of the co-authorship links and let me press next and you can see this is the table and how you have to download this table yes that's very important you should learn it's very very important table that you can show in your research paper you have to press here right and uh, all are selected let me click here export sell export authorship export selected authors and uh, here is where you want to save this file let's say i want to uh, save this file in the same directory and uh, i would like to give author i would like to give this file name is as author and simply i would like to export it so this file is already saved in my uh, folder and now you can see here some of the 74 items in your network are not connected to each other the largest set of the connected item consists of the nine item if you will write no so that will give something else and when you have to click here yes so now you can see this is your output this is your output and how you have to save this output we can see here you have to click here and copy to clipboard and after that you can paste in your word document anywhere so let me open okay fine this is my one of the word document is already open uh no 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 this is uh, uh no this is uh, uh one of the i'm just opening my new document over here let me open this file right this was the manual actually right so i would like to paste here so moment i had pasted here so this would be like this and now what we have to do let me because this is the let me create i mean next next and next um now i want to see what is the we can see uh this is the citation right citation document citation i want to see right or author citation also you can see so let me press next and here is 143 documents but minimum number of citation of a document it will pick if a minimum is five citations right so only those documents please pick and let me press next and same way you have to uh, download this particular excel sheet and let me finish this yes and here's the 53 items has been created and let me press so you can see how beautifully this network is created right and i don't want prefer this one right so what i will do overlay visualization would be like this you can see here and density visualization would also reflect here so that is up to you which one you want to prefer but the same way i prefer this one so what i will do same way copy to clipboard and after that i would like to paste here on my word document where is my i'm writing a research paper where i would like to report so let me press this and this is the network would be visible over here and one more thing we can see here same way uh, let's say you want to show country wise also Achha, one more thing i would like to tell you size variation you can do that size variation in that way and size variation you can increase or you can decrease in that way right so that would uh, increase or decrease right that would increase circle size right i had increased you can see circle size is increased now it looks much more uh, prettier than earlier because this size is increased and you can see these are the authors right this is the citation and uh, now you can increase and decrease this site and color also those colored lines you want to change you can change right 
overlay colors you can see here right set color range also right when you have to click click here so color range also you can set so accordingly you can do this and after that suppose i want to create a country wise also so let me um, country wise here is country wise and let me bibliography coupling and uh, next press and uh, there is 143 document so minimum citation i required at least uh, five citations at least five citation right next and uh, after this next and same way you have to download this particular uh, excel sheet and let me finish this and it is showing right it is showing and the set of the connected item consists of the 84 items so i had created this right this is you can see country wise country wise and now because i want to reduce this size so you i can reduce i want to increase this size i can and size variation you can see here right line size variation you can see here right lines that would be now they are the you can see size of the line is keep on changing and the same way you what you can do you can copy this data right not copy here is you can click here copy to clipboard right and after that you can paste here there are the other ways also through which you can download this data and now let me print here control v so now this 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 one is the networking would be reflected here and please cross check those are your uh, references and those are your uh, scopus database you had downloaded you can cross check this data right so i'm sure this video would be helpful to you how to handle was viewer how you have to download how you have to uh, run this was viewer run your analysis thank you so much keep watching